Good morning. How are y'all hanging in there? To wanna change the season It's just the time of year This song is stuck in my head this morning. <laughs> I don't remember like winter getting to me like this winter has. I, I think I understand how people leave. <laughs> how, how they how they go away, right? I'm gonna turn this off. Um, but it is the time of year. Holy smokes. Ay, ay, ay. Um, is it getting to you guys too? I know, I know Mercury went direct yesterday and that was sort of a, even though it's supposed to get better, when it moves into its normal functioning motion, right? Um, it can be a little jarring in itself. Um, so I noticed um, a lot of people struggling with like their expression or their, mm, I don't know, their ability to, to say the right things or, or to, um, tap into what was going on in their gut and express it in a functioning manner. It's very difficult sometimes when you have the plan is putting additional pressure on you, right? Um, so, or, or what you're saying is misconstrued. It's like, that's not what I meant at all. So anyway, um, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's getting me. <laughs> it's the time of year, as Peter Frampton says. I know some of you old school people out there know that album, so I thought I'd throw it out there. Anyway, um, so I want to talk about the planets first. I really was sort of just stumped on what to talk about, other than what's going on this week. So we'll see. We'll see what comes flowing through. Um, this might be a short one, uh, although I do feel a little bit better. I, my survival guide is, of course, getting outside and getting with nature, <clears throat> excuse me, and walking my dogs. And, you know, that's, that's what, um, you know, throws me a life, a life preserver. That's my lifeline. And with these temps for the past couple weeks, um, wow, it's been really difficult to tap into the resources that that I need to, to keep my head clear and to keep my heart in check. So, and I really, I do my best not to move into the misdirected anger phase I'm seeing a lot of that I see a lot whoa I mean Facebook is the place to um, unfortunately tap into the, the thoughts and the emotional that's a word I'm searching for Ugh. Um, temperature gauge <laughs> of your of your uh, of your neighbors. Um, I know a lot of the keyboard warriors, they, they really don't, you know, they wouldn't say half of the things that they say uh, to their neighbor or to somebody's face. And, and so what they're doing is they're trying to um, channel anger and frustration and fear because fear is usually at the bottom of all reactive, you know, aggression sphere right like flight mode right or you know if you're cornered then you're gonna lash out or if you think in your mind you're cornered and you're not you know just move into the center of the room you could try <laughs> anyway anyway okay mm. 
so hang on I wrote it down so because I've been kind of foggy lately with this my lack of resources to nature and and things that that um, help me grow and thrive so um, I was going to Home Depot walking the girls that works out okay Lowe's is better I hate to say it but it is because they have this like amazing like uh, not the one, not the one in Loves Park, but the one um, on Perryville and East State. They have an amazing, like, greenhouse in there that the girls and I go in. So that's how we were trying to maintain our sanity, you know. But, so, let's see. I had to write it down. So we got, this is going to be a really earth. based a really earth influence we have four elements right with astrology we have fire we have water we have air and we have earth right so we have a lot of earth element planetary trends happening this week so we have Mars and Pluto. Now, this is a good thing. This is Wednesday. I think Wednesday's the 27th. Mars and Pluto are going to trine, but they are influenced or they are active in Taurus and Capricorn. So, this is going to tend to be a very sensual day. Um, could be a very physical day. Uh, trines are always good. Squares, not so good. Right, but we do we have a trine and maybe that will lift some of this mercury retrograde nonsense and kind of put us back on track a little bit right and so however the only the only downside to this trine on Wednesday is the possibility of hidden influences being revealed all right so if you don't want your dirty laundry all over the place, perhaps you should keep it in a private place, right? Like like the spiritual hamper, <laughs> right? So, but, I mean, as a rule, I think this week will feel a little bit more physical, a little bit more productive, a little bit more um, grounded. I, I'm noticing a lot of people are having trouble. They're they're floaty and they're foggy and and you know I've been rolling in some waves of that myself. Um, so just to have that sense that our feet are back firmly on the ground and we have a direction should be complimentary to say the least. And then on Saturday we have a full moon, and the full moon is in Virgo, another Earth element. Right? So the only thing, let me think here. I'm trying to think, who am I forgetting? I'm forgetting. See, there's I, this all the more reason to look forward to this week. So we have a full moon in Virgo on Saturday, which will invoke a lot of productive useful energy things that we've we've been having a hard time drawing into our our physical being or space and activating it in a productive fashion so so that's what we got going on um this week uh, planetary wise so um i thought about for a minute there about reminding people again what we bring voice to and and how that can become our our reality but God I think I've pretty much beaten that to death um, so I'm kind of stumped here I I noticed a lot of loss or it was loss and death it was brought to my attention this week from friends and loved ones and clients and I guess we could I could try to 
redirect some of your some of your heartache in 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 ways that might give you little glimpses of hope or or uh, relief from your grief. Um, I oh, this happens a lot of times with full moons and new moons. We'll we'll have a tendency to observe more people transcending because the full moon and the new moon support that and, and help that um, that loss. A lot of people losing their pets with that it makes me really, uh, really sad for them um, because that's that that's such a innocent little being that that does nothing but provide us love and support and and there is a big gaping hole when when they move on, regardless of how old they are or. Um, how, how long they've been around or whatever. Um, but so to you people that have lost your mother, your grandmother, your father, your brother, I'm sending you so much love and support. Um, from my experiences, With my work, I've found that our loved ones don't, what are the words I'm searching for? They don't disappear, they, they just move into a new form of consciousness when their soul cage can no longer support um, their, their spiritual being and they are very much aware of you and they do everything in their power to provide you love and support and in many cases the, their capacity to protect you and support you and guide you in the right directions. Their capacity is is uh, expanded. If that makes any sense, they're not restricted by a soul cage or a vehicle trying to get somewhere in in time. Or uh, their our abilities are, uh, as mortals are very um, they're restricted to say the least. There's only so much we can do. Uh, once we transcend and leave our soul cage behind, the possibilities are endless. So there's joy on their end because they can hide your car keys when there's going to be a five car pile up up the road. They, you know, they have the capacity to do these things that they couldn't do as a mortal in order to protect you from. Um, you know, accidents or illness or, or, or to guide you towards a new job that's going to be more emotionally supportive for you and financially lucrative for you, right? So, I don't know, for those of you that, that are in the shockwave of this, it takes time, but the grief doesn't go away. However, it changes, it shifts, and things get softer and lighter. And the lighter memories, instead of whatever dialogue you had with them that now you're beating yourself up for because you had a grumpy day or whatever, those diminish with the help of your loved ones on the other side. And the lighter, happier connections and energies will remain and it won't ache so much but it takes time we need to learn how to love them in their new level of consciousness their new state and that takes practice it does 
it takes practice and and you can't master it right away you have to move the grief through you and you're gonna do that however way that you see fit okay there's no time table or uh, I know it's like a class but it isn't a class <laughs> you don't have to get through all 10 chapters in two weeks and you're not gonna be able to do it but I want you to know um, and I see death I see death differently than most people because of the connection I have um, but that doesn't make it any easier. You don't have the abilities that I have. And so, and even when I lose somebody, you know, it will, I roll, you know, it, it's, a, it's a struggle. Because we're mortals, right? And we're used to things being a certain way. And I think if we've learned anything in the past year, how precious life is right i mean it really is mm. so and it feels like many times there are years that go by or whatever that just kind of bombard us with them um, with the losses faster than we can generate uh any any type of Relief, I guess, would be the right word, right? Be any type of relief. So, um, and then when we have loved ones or friends that that lose a mom or lose a dad, or you know, this this opens up our old wounds all over again, right? So it's like a cycle. It's a cycle. So. You're gonna do that anyway that you see fit and don't let anybody tell you that to snap out of it or this or that or the other I spoke to a woman this week I won't tell you her name because I'm very private about who seeks my my help right and I spoke to a woman this week that that lost both of her parents from COVID within the same 24 hours, if not like narrowing. And with all this foggy planetary turbulence that we're sort of trying to, and all the bombardment of all the other drama going on that some people like to latch onto like a pit bull, um, she wasn't able to tap into the messages that her loved ones were sending her. So, what I got from her father was he was sending her coins, right? And she kind of giggled and said, well, yeah. And at first I don't think she was kind of grasping like the whole concept of what I was saying, but, but she did. You know, I mean, people get nervous when they explore this type of service. So, but I said, your dad's has been leaving your coins like all over the place. And she said, that's so weird because when I came into your house, I saw a nickel on the floor. Now she thought when she was taking her shoes off because it's salt season around here, I hate to ask people to take their shoes off. I live in my house, but I'm sick of cleaning the salt up and I don't want anybody to fall. So she thought it was by my front door. So we were over there looking and then I, I retraced her steps and um, she was looking at some photos and some books I had in my bookcase when I'd gone in the other room to grab a water. And so I said, no, let's go back over. And there was a nickel on the floor for her. She was so sweet. So I picked it up. I said, here it is. Here's your nickel. 
I don't know where this nickel came from, but my dad has a tendency to use coins as a little beacon signal to me, right? So I said, I want you to take this. This is your nickel. This is from your dad. And she said, are you sure? <laughs> I start giggling. I'm like, it's not my nickel. You know, it's it's from your dad. Keep the nickel. Keep it in your pocket or put it put it in your purse. Keep it close to you because it's a it's a loving sentiment and support um, from your father. But can you imagine? And they they both had COVID. So, can you imagine losing both of your parents within within a 24 hour? I mean, I, I'm sure it was less than that. I think it was, I think it was three or four hours, right? Um, it's like he went first, and he zoomed into her room, and he took her, and off they went, right? So, um, that's a double whammy for those of us left behind. Um, but when we we sort of scrape away that a little bit and take a look and observe they're together so basically this w woman that came to me um has, has a dynamic duo like guiding her and working with her now so now i'm sure there'll be some of you that will that could challenge whatever your belief system or whatever um that's fine because we don't all grasp and absorb the same frequencies in the same same way so nobody's wrong here right but yeah it's the part of my work that I love the most and it's the part of my work that is that is the hardest on me Where's my body? Um, so, any of you, for any of you out there that are revisiting a loss or have gone through a loss, I just want you to know that I love you. I want you to know that they have the capacity to tune in with you and to guide you and to protect you and awaken you and support you. Right? Nobody's peeking in the shower at ya. I actually had somebody ask me that once. It's like, you don't care about that. But, but there is that, that element of support. So I just wanted to remind you all of that. Um, so, so that's the, where you going, girlfriend? Do you want to come on up here? Come on. Come on. That's too far away. They can't see you. Come here. Come on here. Come on, see. Sit. <laughs> she said for mommy. Please. Good girl. Good girl. See, now you look at that screen. That's when all the hearts and loves and all those start showing up. See, they're t they want to see you. They want to see you. Yes. Oh, is that making you tired? Oh, the paparazzi. It's so difficult to deal with. <laughs> I know. You're such a star. I know. <laughs> this is what keeps my sanity. Her and her sister, and her other sister, who turned 21 last week. I think I told you about that. She's sleeping right now on the register with her cute little sweater. I was, I'll put a picture in the, in the uh, comments of her kitty cat. Isn't she just amazing? Everyone should have a love like you, Scout. Yes. Oh boy. Oh, am I making you feel shy? Oh, don't be shy. So now it's warmer out. So we will actually be able to go out instead of wandering around a 
home improvement store and be able to sniff things and get with things, right? I know it. Well, you guys, sorry, I, I really I really didn't have much of a topic that, that the heaviness from the wounds that, that I've observed this past week, kind of, they take a toll on me. Even though I know in my heart and in my mind that this will, that the, the heartache will transcend and, and those things will, I still, for, for the mortals that I've been blessed to have uh, enter my life, many clients, have, they're, they're friends. I mean, after years and years and years, they, they aren't just a client to me. And, and I, I hurt when they hurt. And so I just, I don't know, I just didn't have the, the oomph that I normally have and I did want to send love to those that, that have been struggling. Because uh, if it isn't bad enough, we're, we're, you know, locked up with this nonsense and, and We're hunkered down because of these temperatures and now I guess we're gonna get more snow. I do understand Jack Nicholson's character in The Shining very well right now. <laughs> anyway, so, and for those of you who do not live in the Midwest like I do, I am sending you so much love and I am scolding you. I'm telling you to get your ass outside and embrace this wherever you are that the weather is complimenting your day. Get get with it. All right. Get your ass outside because we haven't been able to. And I send love to anyone in Texas that is struggling with with the weather and the challenges and I I can't send them enough love and support. So, that said, all right, let's stay focused, keep our eye on the prize. It's just the time of year. Each day that goes by, it's a little bit longer and the sun comes up a little bit earlier. We're on the home stretch now. See, I'm really trying to, I may, be, it may sound like I'm trying to convince you, but I'm really trying to convince myself. So, um, and think of last year entirely. Last year felt like the fastest slow motion year I have experienced to date in my life. So we're we're coming around the corner now. A March will be here. It's all gonna it's all gonna lift. All right. Okay. So with that said, sorry I wasn't more inspirational. I did my best. I showed up. Took a shower. I put some yellow on with my bees. It says, let it be. I have like 500 of these sweatshirts. They're my favorite. So, um, and the proceeds or a portion of the proceeds for these t-shirts and sweatshirts so that I wear all the time uh, go to saving the bees and keeping them healthy. Because without bees, nothing works. Nothing will survive when you think about it. Nope. So, oh, well, I'll just eat this. No, you won't eat that unless there's hay or grain to um, support the life force of whatever it is you're planning on eating. So, without bees, we're in a mess. So, okay. All right. So, let's center ourselves um, and love to you with wounds, especially, especially to you who have experienced these wounds this week. My heart is going out to you, all right? To Tracy and to Courtney and you know who you are, okay? All right, so here we go, all right? We gotta keep this up here. Keep yourself healthy. Build your immune system. Take your D3. Get outside, right? 
Okay, get with nature. Okay. Mind, body, spirit, connection. I love you guys. All right. And don't wait until it's too late to tell those that you care about how much they matter to you. If this year has taught us anything alone, it, it should tell us that life is very short and we need to embrace it and we need to send love and gratitude wherever we go, regardless of how it's received. That's not our problem. All right? Okay. All right. Take care, you guys. Love you. Stay well. Up here. Up here. Need to keep the center. All right.